Hello everybody, this is Nicholas Moore with Leaf360. Today I want to talk to you about why you're probably using Arrive wrong and how you can fix it. So we all, for all my mortgage brokers out there that are using Arrive, you probably know about the Prospects uh, pipeline, which uh, contains clients that are under app intake, qualification, and pre-approved. Now, what often happens, and what I see with a lot of mortgage companies that we work with, is they'll typically, for a purchase or refinance, go straight from app intake, skip qualification, maybe go to pre-approved, uh, and then they'll go straight to loan setup when it goes under contract. So what they're doing is they're keeping all their clients stockpiled within the app intake section. Now, that's not really okay, <laughs> and, and I'll tell you why. Imagine if you're nurturing your database and all your clients that you're actively working on and the clients that are new and the clients that are ghosting you are all sitting in one pipeline. How can you actually organize your, your day? You don't know where everybody's at. The idea is that you wanna treat Arrive as a, a really clean organization system. You want to make sure that all the clients, and this is how I have it set up ideally, all the clients that are fresh, new applications, they're sitting in app intake. You haven't received any documents. You're not really getting anything from these clients. In qualification, that's where you want clients that are actually sending you documents that you're, you're pulling credit, you're getting a soft pull, you're getting enough sufficient information to actually pre-qualify them and possibly pre-approve them. And obviously for the pre-approval stage, that's when you have everything you need and you're pre-approving the client. Now, for those of you that are using Arrive, if you're not pairing it with a CRM, here's why it's important. At Leaf360, what we focus on is helping mortgage companies connect systems like Arrive and even LendingPad to their, op uh, their open CRM. I personally love Follow Boss. I think they're one of the best CRMs out there. And I'll show you how well they integrate with Arrive through Leaf360. So we have Nicholas Mora here. And if I go on Follow Up Boss, you'll notice we also have Nicholas Mora. Now you'll notice on the left side over here, it says Stage Applied. And we, we have that information pulling in from Arrive. Now look what happens when I'm in Arrive and I go ahead and I change the loan status over to Qualification. Let's just click that. Do, 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 do. And if we go back to Follow Up Boss, I'm not gonna touch anything. And you will notice in a second, bam, it changes right there instantly. Now, why is this important? Why is it important that my, my CRM, such as Follow Up Boss, and my loan origination system, such as Arrive, are connected? Well, inside of Follow Up Boss, you can run automations and marketing campaigns that will trigger and get sent out to the client. Inside of Arrive, you cannot do that, which is why it's important that your CRM and your LOS are talking. What is the benefit of this? When I have a client that's under app intake or qualification or pre-approved, yes, I want to update it in Arrive, but I also know that most of my clients are not actually going to move forward and get under contract right away. Realistically, the average client that's taking on a mortgage is gonna take a few weeks to a few months to actually go under contract. So what are you doing in that span of that a few weeks and a few months to actually stay on top of your client? By having your CRM and your LOS talking to each other, now without you having to come in here and manually update it yourself, you can update it and arrive and have automations and, and reminders and text messages and emails going out to the client pre-made and set up to go out. So that's why I vouch for always connecting your uh, LOS with your, your CRM. I think it's very important. If I head over to the deals tab as well, and we go to the prospects, I can notice that uh, I also see Nicholas Morris here. So now I have a really nice view of all my clients that are under app intake, qualification, and even pre-approved. And you'll notice there's a big difference between these. I see I have 103 deals in app intake, 11 deals in qualification, and 34 deals in pre-approved. Why is this important? I'm typically going to have more deals in app intake than I will in qualification because of the fact that most of my app intake clients are, haven't moved forward yet. They haven't provided any documents. They're inactive. They're just kind of sitting there for now. Once they get to qualification is when I know they're more of a serious buyer you know, uh, or refinance client. They provided me documents. I've gotten mortgage statements. I've gotten income, assets, credit. I've gotten everything I need to start qualifying the client to then hopefully pre-approve them. Now, you can imagine if I were to pre-approve Nicholas, Nicholas over here would get moved automatically to my pre-approved pipeline. So I'll show you guys once again how this works. Let's say I move Nicholas back to app intake. Um, you know, this is a demo file, so we're gonna mess around with it, it doesn't matter. If we move Nicholas back to app intake, you will notice that over here, let's see where he's at. So he's right here, I'm not gonna touch anything. My hands are off the keyboard. And then bam, he gets moved over to app intake. So now not only am I seeing these updates, but my team as well. So once again, this is gonna be an amazing feature for if you're running a team and you have a processor, you have a loan partner that's actually moving your files and arrive. 
This is going to be great for you as a loan officer to be able to track all of these inside of your CRM. Inside of there, on the right side, I can actually look at my action plans, which are pretty much the marketing campaigns that go out. And obviously for this client, I've already ran the application received and qualification um, uh, automation. So the way that we have it set up, it's not going to run twice uh, in case we're making changes if we don't want to send out duplicate marketing. So they've already been completed. But the point is, is that the second the stage is moved and arrived, it will trigger that stage change in follow-up boss, follow boss in the CRM. And from there, it will trigger the marketing campaign that we have set up. Now, what I love about follow-up boss's action plans is it's not just emails and texts that go out. You can set up tasks, reminders, uh, you can create notes, you can have appointments scheduled all automatically based on the workflow that you create. So if you know how you want to stay in top in front of your clients, whether it's weekly, uh, monthly, bi-weekly, once every three months, you can create that automation and have it running for you. This is something that at Leaf360, we provide done for you. It's all completely free. We'll be more than happy to provide you any kind of marketing automation for any step in the loan process uh, within a, a um, follow-up boss. So I'll be more than happy to share that if you guys want to see that. Uh, but once again, guys, if my biggest takeaway from this video, if you take anything away from it, is that when you are in Arrive, make sure that you are keeping clients that are not moving forward in app intake, clients that are providing documents and that are moving forward in qualification, and ultimately clients that do get pre-approved, move them to pre-approved. Now, if you run into a scenario where you know the client is just no longer uh, moving forward, they don't want to do anything, I would simply um, archive the loan or adverse it, depending on if they do want to rescind their application. Uh, but that way you're taking it out of your pipeline and it's not cluttering up your database. This is very important because also in your CRM, you want to make sure that you don't have 100 dead files in your system. You want to have, I'd rather have 20 files that I'm working on than 100 dead files that I'm not working on. So once again, guys, if, if you're not connecting your LOS to your CRM, if you're not connecting Arrive to a system like Follow Boss, you're missing out on a lot of potential follow-up and nurturing. I'm telling you guys, this is an absolute game changer. Having the ability to update your files and Arrive and then having your CRM trigger milestones and trigger emails to go out and trigger messages and trigger follow-ups that is going to allow you to work smarter and not harder so you can focus more on growing your business than focusing on working in your business. If you guys have any questions about this and you guys want to know more about best practices within Arrive and Follow Boss, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I would love to share all my best tips with you. I've been using Arrive and Follow Boss since 2019, so I'm a bit of, a, of an expert is what I would like to call myself with using the two systems. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, have a great day and take care.